This is a timeline of women in science in the United States. 1848 – Maria Mitchell became the first woman elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, she had discovered a new comet the year before. 1853 – Jane Colden was the only female biologist mentioned by Carl Linnaeus in his masterwork Species Plantarum. 1889 – Mary Emily Holmes became the first female Fellow of the Geological Society of America. 1893 – Florence Bascom became the second woman to earn her Ph.D. in geology in the United States, and the first woman to receive a Ph.D. from Johns Hopkins University. Geologists consider her to be the first woman geologist in this country America". 1896, Florence Bascom became the first woman to work for the United States Geological Survey. 1901, Florence Bascom became the first female geologist to present a paper before the Geological Survey of Washington. 1912, Henrietta Swan Levitt studied the bright dim cycle periods of Cepheid stars, then found a way to calculate the distance from such stars to Earth. 1924, Florence Bascom became the first woman elected to the Council of the Geological Society of America. 1925 – Florence Sabin became the first woman elected to the National Academy of Science. 1928 – Alice Evans became the first woman elected president of the Society of American Bacteriologists. 1936 – Edith Patch became the first female president of the Entomological Society of America. 1942 – American geologist Marguerite Williams became the first African-American woman to receive a Ph.D. in geology in the United States. She completed her doctorate, entitled A History of Erosion in the Anacostia Drainage Basin, at Catholic University, 1947 – Gertie Corey became the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, which she received along with Carl Ferdinand Corey, "...for their discovery of the course of the catalytic conversion of glycogen", and Bernardo Alberto Housi, "...for his discovery of the part played by the hormone of the anterior pituitary lobe in the metabolism of sugar." 1950, Isabella Abbott became the first native Hawaiian woman to receive a Ph.D. in any science, hers was in botany. 1950, Esther Lederberg was the first to isolate lambda bacteriophage, a DNA virus, from Escherichia coli K12, 1952, Grace Hopper completed what is considered to be the first compiler, a program that allows a computer user to use English-like words instead of numbers. It was known as the A0 compiler. 1956, the Wu experiment was a nuclear physics experiment conducted in 1956 by the physicist Chen Xiang Wu born in China but having become an American citizen in 1954, in collaboration with the Low Temperature Group of the U.S. National Bureau of Standards. That experiment showed that parity could be violated in weak interaction. 1960 – Rosalind Yallow received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the development of radioimmunoassays of peptide hormones", along with Roger Gilliman and Andrew V. Shalley who received it, "...for their discoveries concerning the peptide hormone production of the brain". 1963 – Maria Gerpet Mayer became the first American woman to receive a Nobel Prize in physics, she shared the prize with J. Hans D. Jensen, 
for their discoveries concerning nuclear shell structure, and Eugene Paul Wigner for his contributions to the theory of the atomic nucleus and the elementary particles, particularly through the discovery and application of fundamental symmetry principles. She was born in Poland, but became a U.S. citizen in 1933. 1965, Sister Mary Kenneth Keller became the first American woman to earn a Ph.D. in computer science. Her thesis was titled Inductive Inference on Computer Generated Patterns. 1975, Chen Xiang Wu, born in China but having become an American citizen in 1954, became the first female president of the American Physical Society. 1976, Margaret Burbage, born in England, was named as the first female president of the American Astronomical Society. 1978, Anna Jane Harrison became the first female president of the American Chemical Society. 1978, Mildred Cohn served as the first female president of the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, then called the American Society of Biological Chemists. 1983, Barbara McClintock received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for her discovery of genetic transposition. She was the first woman to receive that prize without sharing it, and the first American woman to receive any unshared Nobel Prize. 1988, Gertrude B. Ellion received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine along with James W. Black and George H. Hitchings, "...for their discoveries of important principles for drug treatment." 1991, Doris Malkin Curtis became the first woman president of the Geological Society of America. 1992, Edith M. Flanagan became the first woman awarded the Perkin Medal widely considered the highest honor in American industrial chemistry for her outstanding achievements in applied chemistry. The medal especially recognized her syntheses of aluminophosphate and silicoaluminophosphate molecular sieves as new classes of materials. 2004, Linda B. Buck received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine along with Richard Axel, "...for their discoveries of odorant receptors and the organization of the olfactory system." 2009, Carol W. Greider received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine along with Elizabeth H. Blackburn Blackburn was a native of Australia, but lived in the United States since 1975, and became a naturalized citizen in September 2003 and Jack W. Sustak for the discovery of how chromosomes are protected by telomeres and the enzyme telomerase." 2010, Marcia McNutt became the first female director of the United States Geological Survey. 2016, Marcia McNutt became the first woman president of the American National Academy of Sciences. 2018, Francis Arnold received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, "...for the directed evolution of enzymes." She shared it with George Smith and Gregory Winter, who received it, "...for the phage display of peptides and antibodies." This made Francis the first American woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. 2019, Karen Ullenbeck won the Abel Prize for her pioneering achievements in geometric partial differential equations, gauge theory, and integrable systems, and for the fundamental impact of her work on analysis, geometry and mathematical physics. Quote, she is the first woman to win the prize. <laughs>